Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a cornfield located in western Kentucky. We're a 170 engine horsepower, 180 bushel capacity, Case International 1460 Axle Flow Combine is harvesting the crop. Equipped with a 6 row, 30 inch Case International 863 corn head. Many combine fans are familiar with the International Harvester version of this combine. The 1460 Axle Flow Combine was in production for eight years. In this video, I would like to share with you the Case International version's production history, specifications, and original price tag, as well as taking viewers for a ride in the combine's cab to see the farmer's perspective of operating this machine. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear all this corn harvesting action. The Case International variation of the popular 1460 Axle Flow Combine is a version of this machine many combine enthusiasts may not be familiar with, and that is because it was only produced for model year 1985. International Harvester first introduced this machine back in 1977 as its first single rotor combine featuring a 24-inch diameter axle-style rotor offering 4,750 square inches of threshing capacity. The 1460 Axle Flow Combine quickly became a popular seller, especially in the Corn Belt for International Harvester from the late 1970s through the mid-1980s. Agriculture markets became depressed across the board in the early 1980s because of low grain prices, high interest rates, and droughts. International Harvester announced on November 26, 1984 that it was selling its agriculture division to Tenneco, the parent company of another major farm equipment manufacturer, J.I. Case. Case International became a new farm equipment brand for model year 1985. The 1460 Axle Flow Combine remained a key product for Case International in 1985 as the company prepared to introduce a new 1660 Axle Flow Combine for 1986. A few minor cosmetic changes were made to the combine. The IH white roof and wheels were replaced by a red cab roof and silver wheels. Case International decals replaced International 
harvester decals. It's interesting that you might have noticed as the combine was working out in this field that on the left hand side the machine says Case International and on the right hand side it says International Case. This was a common decal application for all 1985 Case IH products whether they were tractors, combines, or implements. The 1460 Axle Flow Combine was manufactured in East Moline, Illinois for model year 1977 through 1985. It's powered by a 7.1 liter International Harvester model DT 436 six cylinder 436 cubic inch diesel engine rated at 170 engine horsepower. The combine is equipped with a 92 gallon diesel fuel tank and features a hydrostatic transmission. It's fitted with a 180 bushel grain tank that unloads through a 14.3 foot unloading auger at 1.9 bushels per second. The combine weighed in from the factory at 17,998 pounds. During the 1460 Axle Flow's eighth and final year of production as a Case International model, a few updates were made to the machine. Rotor kickers became standard equipment, the muffler was eliminated, a one-piece forged final drive axle assembly was introduced, and the rock trap beater changed from a four-blade design to a three-blade design. The key stock was welded on the left-hand end, and thicker beater blades were used. The price tag for a new 1985 Case International 1460 Axle Flow Combine was $86,700. Customers that wanted to equip this combine to harvest corn most often ordered the six-row 30-inch model 863 corn head, which came with a price tag of $13,010.
There are a few interesting items of note inside the combine cab of the Case International 1460. The first is the J.I. Case Old Abe Eagle logo at the center of the steering wheel. This replaced an IH logo, but as we look up on the inside of the combine cab liner, we can see the International Harvester branded monitor box. And as well as we look over here, we can see an International Harvester branded AMFM radio. The company was using up the remaining International Harvester parts as they began moving towards the production of the new 1600 series Case IH axle flow combines. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field hearing and seeing this 1985 Case International 1460 Axial Flow Combine at work harvesting corn. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video if you use an Axial Flow Combine on your farm, tell me about the crops that you harvest with it. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see more harvesting content on this channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.